Hi, this is a quick video on how to use Wine Bottler to install EPA Swim or other PC software for that matter. So the first thing, if you don't have Wine Bottler, it's a free program. You can just Google it. Um, and you can see here, we go to this website, the installer is version 1.6 at the time of this video. Download the latest installer um, and follow the instructions. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so I won't be doing it today. And uh, that'll be on your computer. So now the next thing that you do is simply go and actually get a copy of the um, actual PC uh, installer for Swim. Okay, so I just Googled EPA Swim. You can go to the downloads, it's the self-extracting installation program. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that everything is in a folder that I remember where the folder is. So I'm calling it EPA Swim Demonstration, and I have it in my finder over here, so it's right there. So it downloaded, and then we're going to be able to do it. If you were to just run this on your computer, it wouldn't work, okay, because it's a Windows file. What WineBottler will do is it actually allows you to basically bundle all the other stuff that you would need to run this thing, like libraries, fonts, that kind of thing. So there is some pre-installed options that you can play with if you are interested, but what we're going to do is hit advanced and actually go through the process of making our own application. So the first thing, look at prog program installation, you select a file, we select the setup file and hit open. Now, installation mode it tells you here that it's an installer, okay, and that's what we want to do because we actually want to install this thing like in real life, okay. System version, I'm going to put Windows 7, okay. I'm going to leave all these other options uh, unchecked. Just play with these kinds of things. If you're running a more complicated piece of software, you might need to change some of these options so they're available to you. And then the app bundle, we're going to click Include Wine App. Theoretically, you can make this package and give it to somebody else and have them run it on their own computer, okay? And so that um, th that would mean that they don't have to have Wine installed to do this, okay? So we have all this and then hit install. So it's going to ask you for a, um, a, a swim or a, a name for this application that you're installing. And I suggest you use something descriptive so that you don't get confused and you try to run the wrong file. So we're going to call this my swim, and so that way I'll know that this is the one that I created. Okay, I'm going to get hit save, and then you'll notice there will be a bit of a lag because it's starting to go through the installation process. And so you can see up there in the upper left, there's um, this these various things that are being installed. Okay, and uh, this might take a few seconds um, as it's working through what it needs to do. Okay. You can see it's it's actually installing you know some of the Windows files, and then all of a sudden, now what's going to happen is you're actually going to see the install window just like on your PC. And notice that you can tell because it's like the old PC buttons and everything. So we're going to hit next, and we'll go through some of this pretty quickly. This program is going to use what kind of like a virtual file system. So you'll notice that the file system looks just like a PC. That's okay. Leave it the way that it is and I'll show you about that in a, in a few minutes. And we're going to hit next. Everything else is fine. Um, and then it says it's ready to install. We hit next. It goes through the install process. Feel free to pause the video and rewind if you need to. And then it says that the setup is complete. So we're going to get hit finish. And you might think that you're done, but the last step is important. Because we're creating this package that has all these complicated files, and we need to tell the Mac what to do when you actually double-click on the package in the first place. And that's where this start file comes in. You actually go in and select EPA Swim 5. It's very important that you select the right one. And then that is going to actually open the correct program when you double-click on the app. You hit OK. Prefix was created successfully, and then you can close out of that. And then you should be good to go. So we're going to close out of Wine Bottler. And now you'll notice that there's actually an application in this folder that I created. Notice that the application, again, is somewhat large. And the reason for that is that if I go in here and I go to Package Content, Open Package Contents, right-click, if I could potentially right-click here, and Show Package Contents, you'll actually see that inside this package that we created is all sorts of goodies. So you go into Wine Prefix, you'll see the C drive, like on your PC, okay? And that's what it's referring to when you look at the file paths. It's this, like, virtual file system that's inside the package, okay? So I'll go back. And so now, 
All I got to do then is just double click on this My Swim and it should open that start file that I designated, okay, which is going to be the actual swim executable. All right, and then there we go. So you should be able to use this just like you, if you're at a PC. And one of the things to keep in mind again is this file system is the relative file system of this system. And so what you could do is you can go into My Computer if you have a flash drive, for example you should be able to access its contents here and that might be an easier way to remember where your files are as compared to playing around with that virtual system. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, good luck.